In telling the story of Love Like Justice, I knew I'd end up at this bridge, but getting here was a journey, learning about a beautiful girl, her devoted family, and the love for community here in Glendive. Justice Hagen was born on May 25th, 2002, and her mother Angie remembers it like yesterday. Justice was this little spitfire. She was just a determined child. And it's her daughter's tenacity and kindness that inspires Hagen to invest in the community of Glendive, where she and her husband's families have roots in multi-generational farms and ranches. Whenever you have that connection, it's just really important too. It just, it's just this grounding that you have to the place that you grew up. This is the entrance to Makoshika. On a Thursday in April, Angie is showing me around the town she loves and points out the potential she sees from the Yellowstone River to the badlands of Makoshika. It's just, it's very important to us to see it excel. See her cross where she died, it's just like right there. One of the first stops she wants to take me is the place her daughter Justice died. But this is where Justice, what, she turned around and then she was heading um, back down the, the hill and we don't really know exactly what happened, just she lost control. Justice was killed in a car accident in June 2020, one month after she turned 18. But I was already asleep and she left and went for a drive all by herself um, and that night my, my husband, her dad, came home later and said Justice wasn't answering the phone and he couldn't figure out where she was at. While a memorial marks the spot of the crash in the mountains Justice loved, Angie saw her daughter everywhere in Glendive. She worked for a daycare and so all of her daycare kids came and put their hands down. And she wanted to keep her daughter's spirit alive and alight in the community. And that's how Love Like Justice was born. So I announced the day of Justice's funeral about the bridge not knowing it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. I knew without a doubt it was going to happen. I just didn't know how. A mother with an idea to add beauty to the old Bell Street Bridge, turning her grief into action. I thought, well, I'll just start a company and sell Love Like Justice clothing and just merchandise and with a mission of reminding people to be kind, reminding people to go on some kind of adventure and just truly try to live their life and have fun. Through selling Love Like Justice shirts, stickers, merchandise and more, the Hagans raised enough money to light the bridge just in time for New Year's 2023. It was so magical and so emotional. You think of like everything that had to happen to get to that point and it was very emotional and um, but so beautiful. The Hagans light the bridge every night for different causes. A few days of the week it's done as a fundraiser, the other nights are donated. We light the bridge for so many different people. The goal now is to light the second half of the bridge that extends into the trees to keep the project viable and keep finding ways to spread the word about the mission. I just want to try to get people to embrace their life to the fullest because I truly know from experience that tomorrow's not a guarantee. Knowing the way forward is lit by justice. It's just, it makes me happy and it makes me love justice and I'm just, I hope she's proud of me. In Glendive, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.